Hey everybody, guess what? I saw The Flash. Let's talk about it. I don't think I'd be that far off when I say everyone thought this movie was going to be a dumpster fire. Especially when since it's been 10 years in the making. Now, everyone thought this was going to be a crazy Batgirl situation where they don't even put it out. But I think everyone knew from the beginning that this movie, I hate to say it, is really, really, really good and does live up to the hype. I mean, who did not want to see Michael Keaton's Batman back? That's all a lot of people were going to see it for, was just to see Michael Keaton back as Batman. And there were so many cameos. You know, I could really put this next to Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness. But when you think about The Flash, you think about all of his rogues galleries, just like Batman has. In this, he's not actually fighting any of his rogues. This is a take on uh, Flashpoint, and Flashpoint is where Barry goes back and he screws up the entire world by just trying to get his mom to live and just go back in time, fix one little thing so his mom can live. And the entire world basically goes nuts and the butterfly effect is in full force. Now, this movie has all the right laughs, all of the right seriousness and you know what Ezra Miller them they all of them for the, for the whole movie I guess you could really say they because there's more than one Ezra Miller more than one Barry in this movie and so with that being said there's more than one a couple characters and there are some great surprises and I tell you man you, you just have to stay and even see the final, uh, the final cameo at the end of the uh, end of the movie. Now, with that being said, go see The Flash. It does have a 95% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's earned it well. It it's going to do well, and it is a reset for the entire DC multiverse, DCU. So James Gunn can can take over and build it the way he wants it. So until next time, I'm Brent Hardis, and you've been watching The Watchers.